Hello friends and welcome to some courier sniping gameplay. We got some Monkey King 4 support here. Still finding the right balance for the pub game. So if you didn't see it, I made a guide on the courier sniping that some pros team, pro teams do. By some, I mean like two of them. And uh, it's pretty fun, it's pretty cool, but I think the extreme version of this only really works for the pros, but I think a watered down version works in the pub games. And that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out. It's about like the fifth time we've done it, something like that. And I thought this game went decently. I still made some mistakes. I'll talk through those uh, with this like post editing commentary, but otherwise I'll let the game go live or what was live. If you wanna see it live, come follow the Twitch streams. If you wanna see it later, watch the uh, Twitch VODs, all that. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the uh, enjoy the game. You have one? He does. I'll go high. No way, right? <laughs> Not yet. Hmm, nice view. I actually shouldn't have dewarded this small camp like this right now. I should play the first lane out and then do this. The only reason this worked out is because Treant briefly showed top. I don't know, by accident, so it scared Disruptor and Lifestealer a little bit. And then Wind Ranger uh, blocked one, uh, let one creep go forward at the front. And that's kind of the reason this worked out. Like by the time I got here, the lane's pushing in our favor. But I really should have just played the first lane. And then, like right around now, tree hop over to that small camp, block it as the next wave joins. I'd make it back. Uh, that would be a lot better. Please take this. I never saw the mid courier. Did we have it? Three sages masks. What kind of build is that? That's wacky. Time is it two minutes? So around three minutes, they can both respawn. You can see disruptor wants to pull. No, thank you, sir. You can see everything up here. <laughs> Make him to miss last hits. <laughs> Was that supposed to miss the range creep, do you think? We should watch for the couriers, they could respawn soon. I think disrupt courier is more important. If 
That won't stop me because I don't draw tower aggro. The reason I think Disruptor's Courier is a little bit more important is because I'm still balancing that pub mentality, which is that, yes, in the game impact, I think sniping the mid bottle would have been the most impact play I could have, but I think in pubs it's really risky because you could totally sacrifice your offlaner. So by killing Disruptor's Courier again and again, the small camp is staying blocked. He can't like do anything about my hard camp, stuff like that. So I think it's helping me out more. Oh, get the oh, get your freaking boots! God. All right, we should have been able to kill that. Very sad. I should have just walked out at this point. You see me sit here for a little bit and then eventually TP out. I was kind of like undecisive at this point, but I should have just have walked back to my own lane. I got the boots, windlace. It would have been like, I probably would have gotten there by the time I ended up teleporting. I swear I'm not waiting for his courier, guys. I was just, uh... Oh, damn. Okay, maybe not quite at the same time I teleport, but kind of close. Now, you see this hard camp got cleared. That was a little dangerous. Uh, that hard camp could have screwed over Wind Ranger, so I probably should have been more careful of that before leaving. But in the end, it did work out. You guys didn't see it, but Wind Ranger did their own pull, cleared off like about half of that stack, and then they ended up clearing the rest of the stack, but it wasn't that big of a deal for Wind Ranger. I can't believe that didn't give me enough money to buy a teleport. Uh, actually, I'm okay with this. I don't mind dying here. It's pretty funny. I wouldn't have minded dying there. But why die when you don't have to? You know what I'm saying? So Disruptor was actually following me as I chased his courier because he, he was trying to meet it halfway so I couldn't kill it. Uh, so the fact that he teleported is pretty good for me. That's why I said I don't mind dying because he left this lane where Wind Ranger already has an advantage. I accidentally showed him that creep wave. Oops. Um, and so even if he kills me in the base, I would respawn and I could teleport anywhere. And he's slow, so he's still walking out to the lane. Uh, so I don't really mind drawing that attention back to their own base. It would have been different if I died by like one of their tier twos or tier tier ones, because then he's like right into the game. But he went all the way back to the base. So even if I had died, it would have been fine. Didn't die, so all the better. Look at our wisdom rune. Maybe we can stack this too. Pretty close. I don't think this is going to stack. <laughs> I got two levels off of that. Oh, man. I'm so underleveled. <laughs> How close did you to focus fire again? 30 seconds? Oh, I should have stunned him out. He was probably waiting for that. Did he finally pick up items? He did. I'm so sad I missed that kill. It would have been so easy. If I stunned first into the primal leap, she would have stunned, chain stunned him. And that's probably a second kill, even without focus fire. Then we could have gotten a third kill with focus fire. So, big misplay from me. I don't have enough mana for stun. I need mangoes. Hmm, what do I want to build? 
I guess we can finish the wand, and I might get some raindrops. Nah, they'll break too easily. Let's just get... Oh, what should I get? How about an orchid? Orchid feels pretty good, I think, this game. The orchid would let me silence up Zeus so we can't cast his spells, can't leap away, silence the supports, can't get the big glimpses, uh, swap saves, silence Omni Knight if he doesn't have a dispel, can't get any of his saves off, prevent Lifestealer, Rage, Infest. That was the idea behind the orchid. This fight is perhaps a little deep. We, we maybe shouldn't be doing this. Damn. My courier. Oh shit, guys! My courier died. What an I? What a twist. Good thing all that shit is unnecessary. Oh shit! Can't believe he got out of that actually, it's crazy. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> See that query though? Oh shit, okay, never mind. They see me, they see me. We we chill, we chill. I wanna go farm to catch up, I guess. Let's go shove out top a couple times for my team until my courier's back up. What are you doing, man? Did not have a teleport till that courier just delivered. I realized my camera's blocking it. My bad. Uh oh. Just disjointed his own attack. Maybe this drums is pretty good. Oh, you know what's pretty good? Yules is actually pretty good. I should have done a Yules. Let's pivot. Let's go to Yules. I think it'll be good this game. Fantastic. Now we we'll get to farm pretty easily. Moose speed? Hmm. Damn, okay, my team is still like in this up here. In hindsight, I'm still a little torn on the Yules versus Orchid. So my idea behind Yules is that it gives us more move speed, which is great for the courier sniping, and it's an easier build up because it's cheaper, still provides the mana I want to spam out Primal Spring to farm, and it could be used to dispel Omni Ult, uh, waste Lifestealer's time, a lot of the same like general utility. Orchid would have been the better aggressive option depending how good of a game I was having. Um, I don't know, both could have worked, maybe. Ooh, free one, yes! He just conditioned himself to like having his couriers killed. He actually just gave me that one. Oh shit. Everything up here. No one is 
Ah, we missed it. Damn. That's why it helps to have a spread of vision, not just like right in front of their base, but also uh, like deeper in the jungle so you can see couriers everywhere and know where to go to snipe couriers. But I think at this point, like you don't have to commit too hard on it. Uh, you guys can't see it like because this is the live game, but we are ahead at this point from the courier sniping from the plays around the map to like you don't. I don't feel like I need to continue courier sniping here because I can just play like a normal Monkey King support at this point and uh, we're just winning at this point. So I think that's where I would prefer to cut it off. At the pro level, you will still see some like crazy courier killing shenanigans and you know, maybe there's some room for it, especially if I have the vision, like I'd kill a couple more. But I think if you want to try this in your pubs, you do not have to overcommit at this point and still be like camping in their base looking for couriers. Up. I probably should have just used leap and then save the stun for after. Dang. I feel like I screwed up that life stealer kill. I think I could have had it. I did. Look at this idiot in the past screwing up kills. What a moron. Please. Uh, not the best placement, but I kind of panicked since we actually found something, which I was not expecting. The cliff where I found their observers, like, isn't actually a good ward at this point in the game, but I think because of me, it kind of is. Uh, there's smoke here. Careful, careful. Zeus is here. Ben just TPing in. Oh. Kind of moron misses his stun like that. Great work, team. There's a stack here. You wanted this team. That top tower. Uh, none of these are great. I'm going to pass it off. Being thrown all over the place. Your mid tower is in a bit of a bind. Maybe the Philosopher's Stone. I guess Grove Bow could be kind of okay to apply magic resistance to everyone, but my team's like not that big into it. I guess either Pupil's Gift or Gossamer. Oh, 
scary. Let's go try to farm the rest of this Yules. Yes. Push that in. Stop denying it. We got one point in the passive. Maybe we should have done that sooner. Instead of waiting for the rune, I should probably be running over here. A sentry back there already? Cool. Or did they see me? I don't know. Try to bolt me. This should make you look like an observer ward. Very peculiar fight. Can we just like focus a few on that? No, I'll go high. Sure, we see everything up here. I'll go high. I was just giving information, Ursa. <laughs> Decided to act on that, but we should not have been. And perhaps I needed to say that I'm just doing this to like scout. By the way, at this point, I could still go for the orchid, but I felt like kind of missed the timing a little bit. The like dispels are up, stuff like that. So the the kill of the silence is not so. So there anymore. Uh, so I decided to go for drums. It's generally good. More move speed, and it helps a hero like Ursa. Helps the like attack speed come out. Kite the the life stealer. Things like that. Also, I thought Yules could dispel Heavenly Grace, but apparently it can. I guess maybe like Nullify or something like different abilities can. Uh, it was kind of weird. It, it didn't uh, didn't really recognize that. I haven't seen Omni Knight in a while, so I'm not super familiar with the interactions of the new Heavenly Grace, like Repel, whatever, uh, compared to like what it used to be.
Maybe now we go back for this orchid. Would it still be good? This guy's probably got his BKB. This guy doesn't have a dispel yet that I can see. Not a bunch of dispels. Forget what I just said. We're gonna go for the orchid still. Did not ping Roche time. Over here. We have two BKBs. I can't do that. The other fellas aiming to wreck your bottom tower. Smash that bottom tower of yours. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. Crash broke. Hello! Crash Bug Gaming, hey, thank you for the Prime sub. Or sorry, not the Prime sub, just the regular sub. Thank you, thank you. Glad I was about to feed there or not. Fortunately, we were on the not side, but uh, absolutely, I was just expecting a Zeus bolt to find me and then immediately die. Maybe I should have gone to get my observers from their base. Sean up storm. Let's go to Sean. Once again, don't really need this. Top tree is probably a little better to position to break smokes. Oops, too soon. First hit bash, look at that. We 
can go hide. You can see everything up here. I don't know why I stunned her. Bit of an awkward ult too. I think Yulzing might have been a mistake there. I didn't want him to have to lose the Aegis. All right, I think this courier sniping went pretty well. I don't think we committed too hard on it. Uh, I think like the early, early courier sniping was like fine. And then we could have kept going harder, but I think stopping around there is fine. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I could have continued to draw a bunch of attention. Pretty sure we won all the lanes, though. for watching. Bye.